Why is there a man in that torpedo? There are men and women in all those torpedoes, Captain. I put them there. Well, hello there. It's Slay here for another video on Star Trek Fleet Command. So, yeah. Oh, I love these sort of events. So, basically, base raiding to clean up all the rubbish on the streets. Simply lovely. Quick video here on this quick two-day event. Let's start with Call to Arms solo leaderboard. Who's the biggest vulture of your server? Have you got the big whales inhaling all the resources? Unfortunately, the big whales on my server, they're just sleeping at the bottom of the ocean. They, uh, they could do with a poke now and again. Uh, all they do is just mine. It's so boring and dull. They spent thousands and thousands of pounds on this game. And all they do is mine. Oh my god. Rewards. Some decent rewards for the winner. To claim the biggest big dick reward. Raid resources. How it works. 5 points for 1 Dilithrium. 3 Trits points. Plus 1 Pastille. After a day of experiencing this. Finding a base with millions of Tritanium is the best way to fly up the ranks. But there are some consequences to this. And I mean the opposite. So basically you can lose all your resources as well. So if your base is getting raided, you, and say for instance you've had you've raided 50 million past deal, someone else raids all our 50 million back from you, you're basically you're on zero. So you need to be very careful and to be on top of your game with all your shielding. Daily Alliance, call to arms leaderboard. Same rules applies here. We were in the lead yesterday, noticed we were losing points quickly, so frantically trying to find uh, basically who's who's getting raided. But So everyone was searching all through the systems, who's getting raided. So simply, my advice here is, if you're sitting on big resources, use your three day shield if you're not interested in in this event and you just want to mine you want to keep keep yourself to yourself just put that three day shield on and we'll see you on the other side being a first year negative i th i definitely think that we could do with a bit more of the alliance rewards you know all the hard work and stuff like that and it could i think this could have been a bit more uh, and not just for the winner all spread out for everyone else as well Mining event. Right, okay. I love the rewards here. We'll take the tokens all day long. There is a bonus mining event as well, and I think we need to we, we have to talk about it. It's a shame we don't get this every single time. We should have this on every single mining event. Everybody must agree on that. You, you know, like it's logical to have this now. Every time there's a mining event, whack this on there. Um I think the whole player base would be really happy with that going back to the extra batch and was it worth it the answer is still no I'm afraid oh my 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 okay I'm I'm disappointed in in this so after evaluating the drop rates I've had it's it's not much more at, at all you know it's, it's kind of balancing itself out with the other two so I'm, I'm thinking Oh, wow, it just give us the, the extra refinery the refinery options that we actually want. It's like this is coming from the heart. Please give us that, you know. We've been craving it for months and months and months since last November, you know. So pl please, please go, please just, just bring us on the same level here. Yeah. Well, that's me done on this one. I will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.